Hey there, everybody. It's Linnea, and welcome to the first ever Friday Frenzy at Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. Every Friday in the month, I'm going to be bringing you some inspiration using a combination of older products and new products. So for today, my new products that I'm going to be using are the birthday celebration papers, which I'm showing you here. Just a sample of what's in the paper pack. Look at how fun these colors are. I love them. And then I'm also going to be using the new Slimline Bunting Borders die. For some older products, I'm going to be using the Calories Schmalleries stamp set, as well as the Koala Cuteness stamp set, and then I'll also be bringing in the Giraffe Paper Pack as well. So I'm just kind of grabbing some of the stamps that I'm going to use. I'm going to use one little koala and one little cupcake to make a birthday card. So I'm just going to mount these onto a piece of Nina white cardstock, and then I'm going to stamp them so that I can color them with my Copic markers. I just did some really easy Copic coloring with some blues and yellows and some warm grays. Nothing too fancy, easy, easy shading, and then some dot detail as well. So let's start with the background of my card. I am going to be creating a slimline card, and I'm going to be using papers from both the new birthday celebration paper pad as well as the giraffe paper pad. So I've just selected a few of my favorite patterns, and can I just say how much I love this sprinkles pattern paper? Definitely my favorite. And then I'm going to arrange them on a slimline card. So my card um, background here is eight and a quarter inches long by three and a quarter inches tall. And I'm just going to arrange these strips on a diagonal and just kind of alternate the colors. So from that giraffe paper pad, I picked out some of my favorite patterns, but then on the back of the patterns, there are some solid colors as well. So I mixed those in to kind of break up the patterns and give the eye just a little bit of a break. You could arrange these strips of papers, which by the way are one half inch wide. You could arrange them perfectly horizontally, but I decided to do them kind of at a slant. I just thought that that would bring a little more interest to the patterns and to the different colors of the pattern paper. Once I have them all lined up in a way that I think alternates the colors evenly and the patterns evenly, I'm going to take a piece of purple tape and just pick all of these up at once. And that's going to allow me to work with them all at once. Then I'm going to add some tape runner adhesive all over the background of my card. And that way I can just use those little handles from the purple tape and flip that over and press that on to the background and just simply cut off the excess. That makes it really easy using those masking tape handles to work with all of those little strips of cardstock at once. So I use the Slimline Bunting Borders die and I actually die cut all three of the dies from that set because I didn't know which one I would like the best and it turns out that I liked these stars. So I'm gonna use some liquid adhesive and just adhere that to the top of my Slimline card. And then I'm going to also be using a die set from Whimsy Stamps. This is the notched square die set and it just has a whole bunch of these fun little stitched and notched squares. And so I die cut the third from the smallest one from some white cardstock and that's just going to give me the perfect little background for my koala and my cupcake to sit on. I stamped out a sentiment and that came from the Calories Schmallery stamp set. I just built that so that it would say happy birthday and I trimmed that into a, a flag banner edge on each side. And then I'm just going to mess around with these little critters and the cupcake here and get them mounted up on foam tape and get them straight in the center of my card. And then I'll add some clear liquid glitter over the top of both my koala and my cupcake and this cute little birthday card is finished. So like I said, come back to the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel every Friday because I'm going to be bringing you inspiration mixing up new and old products. So the new products here are the birthday celebration papers and the slimline bunting borders dies. And next week, here's a little sneak peek. I'm going to be using the older stencil. This is the Halloween creature stencil along with some new items from Whimsy Stamps to create a Halloween card. So I hope you guys will all come back and that I'll see you next week. Bye!